This is Adrian Monk, a different detective. 13 years ago, one of the best TV shows ended, the USA Network's comedy procedural, Monk. Created by Andy Breckman, Adrian Monk's obsessive compulsive disorder, or OCD, was one of the factors that made him a key player in solving complex and challenging cases all week. After having a breakdown over not finding the culprit in his wife's death, Monk returned to the police as a consultant and his compulsions made him a singular detective. Breckman chose actor Tony Shalhoub to play Adrian Monk. Audiences knew him from several works, but the most notable until Monk was the alien Jeebs in 1997's Men in Black and Fred Kwan in 1999's Galaxy Quest. Today, Tony is one of the stars of the Amazon Prime video hit, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. For playing Adrian Monk, Tony received three Emmy Awards and, in 2019, the fourth Emmy Award, for his work on, Mrs. Maisel. As Sherlock Holmes had Dr. Watson, and Hercule Poirot had Captain Hastings, Adrian Monk also had his faithful assistant. In the beginning, she was Sharona Fleming, portrayed by Biddy Schramm. Sharona was, a jack of all trades. She was an assistant, nurse, friend, and everything Monk needed to face the jungle out there. I'm really proud of you. But we almost had another Sharona. The first choice for the role was Queen Latifah, because she played a nurse in The Bone Collector. Can you imagine Queen as Sharona? In the end, Biddy took on the role, and, although it was only for a short time, it made Sharona unforgettable for fans of the show. Halfway through the third season, Sharona reportedly got back together with her ex-husband and moved to New Jersey. But, the truth, is that Biddy got into a contractual dispute with the production, and they came not a deal, so she walked out of the show. Biddy appeared in a few works after leaving Monk. She returns, as a special guest, in the show's final season. She has been away since 2016, when she made the movie, Moments of Clarity. But I'm not going to drive you anywhere until you tell me what's really going on here. It was honestly, like I never left. It was bizarre, but in a good way. While it is a bit difficult to put a character away upon leaving a show, it never truly goes away. Like riding a bike. Hello? Mr. Monk? Without Sharona, Monk needed so someone friends, to take care of him. Lovak, Natalie Teager. Um, Enter the scene, Natalie Teager, actress Trailer Howard, star of the TV series Two Guys and a Girl sure with Ryan Reynolds. Monk has spent listening. more time with Natalie than with Sharona. She appeared in 87 episodes, whereas Sharona appeared in 39. But, in one episode, she both was together. In the final season, when Sharona returns to visit Monk, in the 10th episode, Biddy and Trailer were the opportunity to act together. <laughs> I've heard so much about you, I'm Natalie Teeger. Oh my I feel god! Like I'm a celebrity. <laughs> but Natalie and Sharona meet once again. They meet again in Lee Goldberg's novel, Mr. Monk and the Two Assistants. In the book, we have an explanation of why Monk chose Natalie to replace Sharona. Monk probably chose Natalie to be his assistant because she is similar to Sharona in that they are both single mothers with children around the same age, and Monk likes things to stay the same. So, which one is your favorite? Sharona or Natalie? Tell us in the comments. And if you are enjoying this video, help us. Subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Like Biddy, Trailer has turned away from the TV. His last appearance was in 2010 in the TV movie Nolan Knows Best. But she briefly came out of retirement to attend a special reunion with the Monk cast during the pandemic. In addition to Trailer, Ted Levine, and Jason Gray Stanford, Captain Leland Stottlemyre and Detective Randall Disher, respectively, appeared for the online prank. It's still strange to fans that Monk hasn't had a movie in these 13 years after the series ended. Its sister series, The Detective Comedy Psych, starring James Rodé Rodriguez and Dulé Hill, had three films in that period. But Monk almost had a movie. In 2012, creator Andy Breckman revealed, in an interview with my9tv.com, that he had finished writing the script for Mr. Monk for Mayor, a two-hour film, to be shown on TV in December of that year. Perhaps we would see again the characters that paraded through the eight years of the series. Like the Monk's brother, Ambrose Monk, played by John Turturro in three episodes, including the celebrated 100th episode of the show. Or Dr. Nevin Bell, who became Monk's psychiatrist, played by Hector Elizondo, in the final two seasons.
or the return of iconic characters, like the monk's rival Harold Crenshaw, played by actor and comedian Tim Bagley in nine episodes. And the obsessed monk fan, Marcy Maven, who introduced comedian Sarah Silverman to audience, in three fun episodes. Maybe even more flashbacks, with Trudy, Monk's wife, played by Melora Hardin in 10 episodes. With everything in favor of a movie bringing back our troubled hero, it's hard to understand why the film didn't happen. When Breckman announced the film, there was still no confirmation that the main actors would return to their roles. Maybe one of them wasn't interested in returning to Monk, or the network didn't give the green light to the production. Monk was USA Network's biggest hit in the early 2000s and still is the channel's most watched series. If the broadcaster was responsible, it was a shot in the foot. But, we still have time. Fans could ask Tony, Breckman, Trailer, Ted, and Jason to return in one or more films. A Monk's movie would now make room for more movies like what happens with Psych. To us remains the hope to be heard by Breckman, USA Network or Peacock, and the cast about one movie. The winner is... Mr. Monk! Guys rule, girls rule. That's right. Okay friends, we've come to the end of the video. If you liked this video, leave your like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell to view our upcoming videos. Thank you for staying with us this far. Bye.